Hello and welcome to a short demo of the Payera monitoring console that we added in the latest release 5.194. I already went ahead and started the server and now I am enabling the console using the set monitoring console configuration command. When the command is successful I will see the console application listed uh, here and I can launch it directly from there. So with a fresh installation, there will be some of the widgets that don't show data because we haven't enabled the monitoring for those. And I quickly go over and do that. We need web container and HTTP to be high. And as soon as we have saved those, they also appear in the console. Uh, the console is really organized in pages and pages are containers for widgets that the user can place as he likes. Um, there are a number of pre-configured pages that ship with the console but those can be customized by the user as any page. So we have core page, we have request tracing, we have HTTP and we can switch uh, here to the other pages. But uh, we can switch the layout to just be two columns and then the third column overflows into the second. Uh, we can go back and, and this goes back to, as it were, we can use one column and now not everything fits uh, on the screen, so we will have to scroll. We can make it a four column layout as well uh, to make room for more widgets, or we can just reset to the preset. Now let me add a new page. I call it my first page. And this is now a fully custom page. I add uh, the heap usage statistic as we can see, now we see the numbers, but it doesn't really communicate that well because from the beginning everything is considered a count. So we have to tell it this is actually a percentage. Um, we might want to see the axis from 0 to 100%. We are, have a few more options like we can show the absolute minimum we ever observed, the maximum or the average. These will then add those lines to the graph as well to give some reference points. Uh, we have some display options like we can also look at the points, we can remove the fill, we can make the connection straight between the points, but the defaults are just like this. Um, Another way to make the numbers easier to understand if, is to add some decorations and we can put in some threshold lines. And uh, I will now put two lows, but for the sake of demonstrating, I put a threshold of 20. Um, and I say this is in reference to the current value. And since we are above the threshold, we will see this is now giving us a warning. If I even put a critical line, uh, it will blink and say, this is a critical value. Please do something about it. And we can customize and, and put a text. This is too high. Uh, so as soon as we get above this value again, the text will appear, this is too high. So this gives the user some options to customize uh, the behavior. Um, now, when we have created a couple of pages, we might want to show them on a big screen that is just one screen. Uh, in that case, we can utilize page rotation. We put in the time each page uh, should be visible and we enable the rotation and we hide the settings. Um, so now we started the rotation and uh, 
we will cycle through the pages and we might not want to see this page so I exclude it by taking away the checkbox. And now we will just rotate the pages uh, we, we have in the rotation. To stop the rotation I just uncheck the checkbox. Um, so the last thing to show is really just that you can pause the updating of the graph, you can make it faster and this just manipulates this value. So you put a cust can put a custom value of three seconds here or pause it um, like that. So this was a quick overview. I haven't time to demo all the features uh, but uh, if you're curious just uh, send us some questions and let us know what you think about the new feature monitoring console. Bye bye.